Hello everybody, it is Ryan here from Cellular Pig, and today I have a tutorial for you guys. This tutorial is going to show how to set up the iPad and then load all your content on it if you already had an iPad or an iPod Touch or an iPhone, or how to set up an iPhone out of the box. The first thing you will need, a computer with iTunes 9.2.1, a syncing cable, it's four o'clock. A computer that talks and an iPad. So the first step is to open up iTunes, plug in the USB port on your Mac or PC, take your syncing syncing cable and plug it in to the bottom of the iPad. It's going to be lit really hard one-handed, so I'll come right back. Okay, I'm back again, and now the iPad will automatically boot up, and it will start its process as soon as the iPad is booted up. The first thing you need to do is either set it up as a new iPad or restore it from a backup of an old iDevice. See, it shows connect to iTunes. So we're going to go over here in iTunes. Sorry about the bad quality. See if I can get it better. See, right there it says iPad. Go over and we have a, s a screen that says set up your iPad. An Apple iPad is previously synced with this computer. Set up as a new iPad or restore. For just filming purchases, we're going to set it up as a new iPad, but if you have an old one, you can easily restore it at any time. So we're going to automatically add photos, sync it up, you can name it. Let's name this test. So now it, now your iPad is done. All your content will automatically sync. But for um, test purposes today, we're not trying to sync all our stuff and wait the several hours. We're going to show you how to manually set it up. So the first boot up, you're going to slide to unlock. It's going to tell you how to edit the home screen. You might want to read that. Touch and hold the icons and until they start wiggling and then press the home button and to put it back. So let's demonstrate that. You, let's press and hold on settings. See how they are now wiggling? You can drag them around to any square. One thing you cannot do is rearrange them. Like this icon, even though there's a grid square right here, you cannot put it there. It has to have more icons in front of it. Now that we have all of that, on the second page there's nothing, but you can easily move an application to another page by dragging it over there. There, now settings is out of there. You can drag an application into the dock by just taking, let's move Safari here, you can drag it out, it automatically snaps the last page, or you can drag it back in. You can rearrange icons, but let's just leave it stop. So the first thing you're going to do after you've arranged the icons, you're going to click on settings. Ooh, shoot, I made them wiggly. We're going to go into settings, and then you're going to set up your Wi-Fi if you have it. You can turn the Wi-Fi on or off, automatically ask to join unknown networks, and set it up. So for the sake of this, we're going to just connect to Drig it fast. Let me enter the password. Okay, we're back now that I have entered my wireless password. And it, if you can tell right up there, it will give you a little symbol saying the iPad and Wi-Fi. If you have the 3G model, it will have the 3G bars like the iPhone. Or it will just say iPad if you have cellular data turned off, which is all it's good for. It does not make calls. So now it's set up on Wi-Fi. First thing you're going to do is take brightness and wallpaper. You can set up custom wallpapers. Usually, if you've synced photos, you can set that up. But because we have no photos synced, it will not work. To take a screenshot, you press the home button right there. And press at the same time, press the power button. Yeah, you just heard that little noise. Let's turn the volume up. Oops, sorry. Turn the volume up. Now we can set it up as a screenshot. You go into brightness and wallpaper. Tap on that. Save photos. And voila. That could be your new wallpaper. Though, let's just leave it stock for the sake of demonstration. Then you have all these other options. You can set up picture frame. Personally, I like origami. Shuffle on. And then you can go general. Set up all these. There's lots and lots of settings. But I'm going to let you set that up because it is your choice. After all that is set up, you can go in. And it won't show you the screen if you set up the email. If you have, have, then it will show you all your mail. You can download that. You can view your photos. 
pinching and zooming. You can pan around. It has cool little animations. Click on it again. Zoom in. There's a YouTube icon. You can delete photos from the device directly by clicking on the delete icon. Delete photo. There. Now there's no photos on the device that will tell you that. The next thing you can do is you can set up add some contacts. Add stuff to your calendar. Make a note. View where you are. Download some apps, music, go on YouTube, watch a video, or set up the settings. Also, you have your iPod, your photos, your mail, and your Safari. So let's show you how to download an application. You go to the App Store. It will load up if you're on Wi-Fi or 3G. You can. You have several choices to choose from. You've got Top Charts. See, it will automatically alert you to download your free copy of iBooks. So why not, let's just go ahead and download it. That will be a good demonstration. So normally it will take you to a screen. Let's search for iBooks. It will automatically suggest it up here. Let's click on iBooks. It will show you two things, iPhone apps, there's iBooks and iPad apps. Now apps with a plus on them, that means they work on the iPhone or the iPad. Apps with no plus, like that one right there, only work on the iPhone, though you can zoom in. And apps that have that are HD or iPad in the name, that usually means that they are all set up and that they only work on the iPad. So let's download iBooks. You can either install the app for, directly from this screen or you click on the iBooks and voila, it will tell you all about it. You can look at screenshots. You can read customer reviews, look at the current version, read the description, read what the latest update brings, developer website, app support, and agreement license. Also, other apps by that creator. So let's show you how to download it. You're going to click on it, install app. It wants you to type in the password. I will be right back. Okay, we're back. I've re-entered the password. If you enter it incorrectly, it will prompt you to enter it again. And there's iBooks. It's currently downloading, and then it will install, and then we can run it. So let's just wait for it to install. If you tap on it while it says downloading, it will pause the download. But only one app may be downloaded at a time. So after iBooks is done, you can click on it, and it will give you an option to sync all your books and your pages. So let's hit sync and let it go. It should automatically come up with some books, but sometimes it doesn't. Let's sync some books to it. Okay, we're back and this is the iBook store. It's just like the app store, except you can get books and it shows the featured books. You can go by release date or you can search the library or you can go by categories. So let's say, um, what book shall we have? Sci-fi and fantasy. Click on it. And it will show you all books that are in the sci-fi and fantasy category. Sci-fi sh short stories, Twilight, and all these. So you can download a book, go back to your library. You can also switch views. And you can view PDFs if you have any installed. It is a great PDF reader. Well, thank you for taking the tour of the Apple iPad. I will stay tuned to Cellular Pig. Subscribe, thumbs up, rate, comment, whatever you can to popularize this video. It will um, drive us forward to just create new, better reviews. Thank you for watching. This is Ryan Drigget from Cellular Pig.